Hello everyone, my name is Neha Sada, Functional Consultant at BISP Solutions. So, today we are going to see what is document type, document range and posting key. So, let's begin. So, what is document type? It is a key which is used to differentiate a business transaction and to manage how the documents are stored. In SAP, document type are defined for posting journal entries. There are various types of document type. Say, AA document type is for asset posting, whereas DR document type is for customer invoice. Same, KR is for vendor invoice, KZ is for vendor payment, and many more. So, let's go to the screen. This is the SAP Easy Access screen. Just type SPRO. Enter. SAP Reference IMG. Then Financial Accounting. Financial Accounting Global Settings. Then Document. Then Document Type. Define document type. So, there are various document type are predefined in SAP. So we no need to create this. So AA is for asset posting as I have shown you. AB is for journal entry. Say so, we just open this AA asset posting. See AA uh, number range is 01 for asset posting and it is a uh, or account types allowed. All type of accounts are allowed here. So these are predefined settings. And one more thing, re uh, required during document entry. So what is this? Uh, reference number and document header text. So uh, if I take uh, if I take here, then whenever I I'll do journal entry, I have to mandatorily fill these uh, fields, reference number and document header text. So I am not taking it. Okay. Just go back. SA is for general, uh, general ledger account document. SB is for general ledger account posting. And so on. Okay. So these are document types. Just go back. So next thing is uh, document range. So what is document range? Document range is a number interval which is given to each type of business transactions. It is a unique number in which business transaction is posted in SAP. It is company code setting. Okay. So for every document type, document number will be given. It is a client based setting. Okay. Client level setting. So let's go to the screen. See, document number range. Define document number range, copy to company code and copy to fiscal year. So from here we can define, see, our company code is FI02. Click on interval. See, nothing is here because we have not defined it right now just go back we'll copy from another company code so copy to company code just take care number in sap triple zero one is a standard one just a second triple zero one Company code triple zero one does not exist. No problem. This is actually a training environment. So someone has deleted such company. So no problem. We can copy from some another company code. See, number range, we're not giving number range. So that all number range will get copied. Fiscal year 2021. 
we are copying from 2000 uh, 2021 and copy copying to 2022 our company is maintaining or we are maintaining record for 2022 okay so source company code detail one company is there 1710 from there we are copying okay company code our company code is fi02 okay then click on execute fiscal year company code source company code and target company code okay then you have changed your setting do you really want to do this yes see all the intervals has been added here so just go back then click on define document number ranges now type your company name here click on interval see all the number ranges have been copied okay from 2021 to 2022 so what is an r status an r status means number of used or created document so whenever we create a journal entries from such inter number intervals so it will be represent here shown here okay so now what these are number a number interval then here these are number ranges then an r status then external so what is external external means if i take on external then what will happen then i have to manually enter the number ranges if i don't take here anything then system will automatically generate numbers number ranges in sequence okay so we are not taking here just go back so as we assign all the things to company code in sap right but the here we don't need to assign anything reason is we assign number range with the document type so whenever we post entry such document type as a parameter under our company code automatically document range will get picked and whatever we created against it so chain has been created between company code document type and range okay so next next is document posting posting key okay so what is posting key posting key is nothing but a classification of debit and credit in accounting we just debit or credit an account but in sap we use posting key with every account to determine if this is debit or credit entry we no need to remember the key it is a client level setting for as a document type suppose in as a document type i have entered salary account debit to bank salary account debit debit posting key is 40 whereas credit posting key is 50 for as a document type wait i just show you define posting key this is 40 debit entry just click here hmm. posting key is 40 it is for debit general ledger account it is for gl account okay so this is 40 go back and 50 50 is for credit and for gl account okay so there are very various uh, posting keys are available here for different document type these are document type for gl customer assets and so on see it is not necessary that debit and credit would be from the same document type say for example purchase account debit to and the payable purchase account is debit and it is it it is as a document type whereas vendor payable is 
क्या डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप फॉर एस एस डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप डेबिट पोस्टिंग की इज फोर्टी वेर एज वेंडर फॉर वेंडर के आर डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप इज एप्लीकेबल एंड पोस्टिंग की फॉर क्रेडिट इज थर्टी वन देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पोस्टिंग कीज आर देयर फॉर डिफरेंट डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप ओके सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग